Hi, welcome to Dice Control Dojo. I'm Phil and I practice every day, share my tips so we can all get better at the casino. Today we're talking about the analysis, our, one of our three parts of the toss that we're going to analyze. Today we're talking about just the air, okay? So if we're videotaping at home and I'm videotaping my throws, this is just what happens in the air because different people see different things. Some people aren't looking at the landing zone like I am. They can, they're looking at how their air, their toss is being done once it leaves their fingers. I'm always focused on my target and I barely see what's going on in the air unless I am videotaping myself like this and then I look back and see what the dice are doing. So in this first video, we're going to talk just about the air. We're going to recognize what different issues are in the air. And then we're going to break it down after that and how to fix each one of them. And we're going to have one video per fix. All right. So we're going to try and analyze each fix. So hopefully if you see that you're having a problem, you can go right to this video and say, what are the different things in the air? Okay. And then go to a video and say, okay, mine are separating. This video will help fix that. Of course, I want to make sure I always say I'm a student. I've been taking lessons for years, many different people teaching me and mentoring me and coaching me. And this is a amalgam of all of my coaches, best practices. So I'm not saying that what I'm what the fix is, is the right answer. It's just things I've been taught from all these wonderful people so that I can correct it. Analysis is so important. We talked about that yesterday on making sure you can make corrections on your practice table or you can see what's going on in your practice table. So the next day you can put that as your primary goal for fixing on the dice. As we're getting closer to Vegas, I got to make sure each one of these issues are resolved so that I'm 100% ready to go for Vegas. So let's talk about this. When you go to throw the dice in your fingers are your ledge, right? And you got a very small amount of pressure. And then you're following through. There's many things in the air that can happen. What do you want to happen? I want these dice to be glued together, just like this, right? I want them to be glued perfectly together, a little backspin, right? The perfect throw, it's gonna land, they're gonna land together, pop up and down, and sit nice and pretty. Hopefully with the three three at top. So that's the perfect throw, right? The 35 to 45 degree angle. The small backspin, they're together, they land together, pop and stop. That's the perfect throw. So let's break down what goes wrong and analyze what is going on wrong in the air when you're throwing. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about if they go off together, right? They can do two things. Say you have the perfect release and they're together like this. They could be going to the left. Well, they could be going to the right. So what is that correction? We talked about, you know, shoulder issues, right? Or aiming. That if they're together perfectly, but they're not going where you targeted it, that's a large muscle group. And we're going to talk about how to correct that. What are other things they do? These, this is the interesting one. I've seen this a bunch. That when you throw the dice off, right? They are together right? But they're at an angle. So that's interesting. So they're going at an angle backwards this way, or they're at an angle backwards this way. They're not perfectly together, meaning, I mean, they're not perfectly vertical or horizontal to the, to the bottom. They're off at an angle. So what's causing that or causing them going to an angle so that the one dice is a little higher than the other, even though they're perfectly glued together. What's causing that? 
that's a whole nother set of issues that we need to discuss. What's another way that, the vid, that, the, that you might see when you're doing the throw? Is you're throwing it and they separate, okay? Now, you don't mind them being a little separate. They can be, if, as long as they're going together, if they're a little separate, that's okay. Um, but what if they're, they're going off like this? They're off at an angle like that. That can be a problem. All right, obviously, you did something wrong. There's some kind of pressure or finger issue that is causing that. What's another thing that can go? You throw it and they're spinning too much. So what does that look like? They do super spin. They're spinning. Is that meaning your wrist or your fingers are not, are, are not doing well? Or well, what if it's a, there's a throw I'm going to call a placement throw, which is something I do, and we're going to talk about that in an upcoming video, when I'm getting stressed out that I may not throw it right, is that placement throw. And that's when you, you kind of just, ugh, you kind of will those dice down because you don't know what's going on. So we'll talk about that. Was that a placement throw? That's what I call it. And it's a bad throw. It never ends well. So there's that. So what happens when you throw the dice and the angle is, arc, angle of arch is too high or the arch is too low? Those are all things we're going to bring up in upcoming videos, how to correct that. So it's just at 35 to 45 degrees as you've been practicing all along. What if one dice is way ahead of the other dice? All right, that's an issue. Uh, it could be a finger issue. We'll talk about that. So one ahead of the other or one above each other. So it could be, there's four different scenarios there that we are gonna break down each and every one of them. So the other important part is, what if the dice come off and they spin out away from each other or they spin into each other? That's a pressure issue with your fingers, and we'll discuss that. So there's many, many things. If you're just looking at the air, in the air, what that looks like and what's happening with your dice. And you've got to recognize each and every one of these has a solution. It's good news. We have a solution for you on how, what's causing it and how we can fix it. Okay, so whether it's the pressure on your fingers, whether it's the pressure on your middle finger and thumb, too much pressure, whether it's your upper body is not in the right direction, you're not throwing it correctly, whether it's you're using your wrists, those are a big bad no-no, right? So what happens when you're using your wrists? What does that cause? What happens if one, what happens if you're not aligned? What if one, the three fingers are like this, or the three fingers are like this, not exactly aligned? This is what's causing all of these issues. They're all resolvable. So there's something we can help you with no matter what is going on with your throw to hopefully analyze it, recognize it, and most importantly, fix it. Because that's what we're here for, right? I want to make sure you have a video available when you're practicing and going. At the end of your day, you're making your notes on your, your 36 throws, and you're seeing that um, my left is off, my left is off, my left is off. So the next day, you're going to say, okay, I recognize my left is off. What's causing that? I look at my video, and I see that the one dice is higher than the other. For most of the video, what do I do about that? Let me look. Oh, Phil has a video just on one dice is higher than the other. This is what I'm going to use to try and fix it. Let me read that and see what it is. So I'm hoping in this whole series of analysis, I put it in to its own unit in my YouTube video uh, that you can look at what is my problem. I recognized it. Now I analyze the different types of problems 
and this is what I need to do to fix it. So I'm going to listen to this video and see if that works. And hopefully I'm right. You know, this is once again my opinion, but hopefully it'll help you fix that one issue so that you can move on and make a lot of money on the tables. So join me tomorrow. We're going to analyze the landing of the dice. What is going on there? How do we, what different types of landing is there? And what are we doing about it? So join me tomorrow on my analysis landing. And as always, the best strategy is to throw for a long, long time.